Begin at 10 with major developments in Denver's migrant crisis. After weeks of calling for federal help, the White House has finally responded. Denver will be eligible for millions of dollars set aside for cities forced to carry the load during this immigration crisis. Nearly 4,000 migrants have arrived in Denver since early December. Also tonight, the Biden administration has announced a plan designed to slow the border crossings. People from Cuba, Haiti, and Nicaragua will immediately be turned away if they cross the border illegally. That rule already applied to Venezuelans, who make up the bulk of the people arriving in Denver. So anyone who crosses illegally will be denied asylum. But there's now a pathway to asylum for 30,000 people per month if they do things legally. Jasmine Arenas has been following these developments, joins us live tonight to explain. Jasmine? Expanding the parole process for Nicaraguans, Haitians, and Cubans will allow thousands of migrants to work and live in the U.S. for two years. But it will also make it difficult for those seeking asylum at the border. The people who don't have sponsors or help like me when they get to the U.S., they turn to a place of refuge like this. Now in a city like Denver, he is surviving thanks to donations. Many families donate and they give us these clothes for the cold to stay warm since we don't have much. Like many migrants in Denver, Jeffrey doesn't plan to stay here. He hopes to go to Houston and work there. But in the meanwhile, many migrants just like him have been arriving to cities like Denver seeking help. When a person arrives, cities like Denver don't receive those funds. And so when, as we've seen recently, immigrants are brought hundreds at a time, it falls on charities and donations and private uh, responses. Immigration attorney Sean Mead says he hopes the $800 million approved by Congress will help cities like Denver make a change. If they start receiving federal funding, hopefully that would provide more opportunities and ability to at least provide basic necessities. But that's not the only change. Effective immediately, now those fleeing their country won't be able to claim asylum at the border. The Biden administration is trying to stop the influx of people at the southern border. The administration is expanding the parole process for Venezuelans to Nicaraguans, Haitians and Cubans. It allows them to request a political asylum and it avoids going through the headache and the disaster that we currently see at the border. Now, if caught at the border seeking asylum, those migrants will be subject to expulsion to Mexico, and the country will also be accepting up to 30,000 returns per month and from these four countries for those who fail to obey these new pathways. In Denver, Jasmine Arenas covering Colorado First.